Where are you, aliens? Captain Jack has something to say to you. Crap, I was supposed to go host Geek Street Journal. Ah! Sorry I'm late, Doc. Time travel without a, uh, oh, TARDIS. You never know exactly uh, when you'll end up. Have you started it yet? I was about to. Well, as a good friend of mine used to say, Alon Z! It's the last week in November, and boy do we have some good days for you guys. November 23rd is Doctor Who Day. I am a huge fan of this British television show about the true stories of the Doctor, a non-fictional time traveler. This show has been going since the 26th of November in 1963. Its fan base has just snowballed with parents who were watching the old shows back in the 60s and 70s that were black and white. And they introduced their kids to New Who. I mean, this show's been going on for like 50 years. Though we did stop for a while after the 8th Doctor. But fans for generations have been showing their love and fandom for these stories about a madman with a box. And dear subscribers, our message to you for this week is in the comments, tell us your favorite Doctor. And if you're not a member of the Doctor Who fandom, Dr. Seuss is a perfectly fine answer. And who's your favorite Doctor? I like the 10th Doctor. Me and him, we uh, ran around for a little bit, shot some aliens. He didn't really like the use of guns, but I can't help it. I guess I just like guns. What about you? Me! Uh, Number four. Actually, it's Tenant. What? You can't know who Tenant is? You can't know Ten? Wibbly wobbly, tiny, tiny whiny. whiny. The November issue of Beaton's Christmas Annual had the first ever Sherlock Holmes story, A Study in Scarlet. <laughs> so this November, celebrate the amazing genius of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle by reading, watching, or even role-playing Sherlock. Watson, you boo! What? Ah! November 28th is National French Toast Day. Okay, so I love French toast. It is so good. So good. No, it is questionable to say that it is French. Um, some say that it was created by medieval European cooks uh, to use up the stale bread by dipping it in a milk and egg mixture and then just browning it in a pan. It's pretty good. November 29th is Sinky Day. A Sinky is someone who eats a food item over the sink, such as like a drippy slice of watermelon or a popsicle or something like that. Uh, or jelly babies! Jelly babies. Jelly babies. Jelly. Baby. Captain Jack, I mean, the ladies love me. The non-ladies love me. Everybody loves little Jack. As the beer brand famously says... Anyway, there's lots of sinkies out there. Everyone's got a little captain in them. Never mind. <laughs> Computer Security Day is November the 30th. This is an international observance. <laughs> oh! I'm sorry. I knew you guys were expecting uh, Captain Jack and the Fourth Doctor. However, they both had to run off uh, on some really nasty mission. Ugh, I don't even want to get into it with you. However, they asked me to, on short notice, fill in for you and tell you about Computer Safety Day. Uh, give me one minute. Ah, there we go. Computer Safety Day is November 30th, and it's the perfect day to go onto your computer and change up your password, uh, or reboot your hardware, or just, uh, do anything in particular that would prevent people from hacking into your computer and seeing all of your adorable kitty posters and pictures and whatever else you keep on your computer. Also, on this day, do a complete systems reboot and refresh your computer. Or, <laughs> if you're like me, uh, go on to your computer to do so, but then spend 12 hours playing Minecraft. I mean, searching for ways to save the human race. Yes, that's right. Uh, now, oh, if you'll excuse me, I have to go. There's something rather nasty happening on Jupiter, and I have to go save the Earth again. <laughs> Life of a Time Lord. <sighs>